Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna install a Unify G4 bullet camera in my backyard. We're gonna use direct burial cable and a USW flex to power the camera. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord and Amazon storefront, and I'll put a link in the description below. So originally I was going to put the camera and the switch inside of my shed, but I've decided to put it out on my fence. So first I'm going to show you some of the materials that we're going to be using, and then we'll get this direct burial cable run and then everything mounted. All right, so the first item that we're gonna be using is this direct burial cable. I believe this is just Cat5e. This cable has some gel fill in it to protect the cable. Um, we'll bring out a paper towel to wipe all the gel off when we're terminating our ends. Next up is the USW Flex switch. This will be giving the camera power and we'll be powering this switch from the Unify Enterprise switch. We have a pair of cable scissors or cable shears. I'll put links in the description below where you can find these on Amazon. One thing you should be using is the Ethernet surge protector. We won't be able to use it in this video as I only have one and we need two. I'm waiting for one in the mail, but you should always make sure you have these. We'll be using an RJ45 crimper and this one is an easy RJ45 crimper where you could use pass-through. We won't be using pass-through ends as we don't want moisture to get on the cable. And then we have our standard RJ45 ends and that's what we'll be using to plug into the camera and into our US flex switch. And I always like to put these clear boots on my RJ45 ends. We have some cable mounting ties, which really come in handy. I don't have any cable clips right now, so we'll just use these. And we have our G4 bullet camera. This has the IR extender on it. I'll do another video on the IR extender and how much it actually improves the night vision. And what we'll be using to mount the switch into is the Unify USW flex utility box. This thing is kind of big and might look ugly on my fence, but at least it will keep the switch protected. So now let's go get the cable run done. Before we go and check where this cable run is going to, let's take a moment to appreciate these nice kitties. This one right here is our youngest one, it's six months old. This is Nilla and this is Mocha, she's one years old. Okay, let's go check out where we're running this. And here's the backyard and I think we're gonna put the camera right in this corner. Uh, it's a little dark right now, but we'll probably mount the camera up here in the box a little lower. I was originally going to put it on this shed that we just built, but I don't think that's a good idea. I do want to capture pretty much all this area and then our back gate, which is right there. So for the cable run, we're going to be going up a line the fence there. Uh, I already made some marks where we could lay the cable it's somewhat underneath this piece of wood. And then we'll be following this all the way down. Then I made some holes in the grass line right here so we could run the cable underneath it and then go along the wall with the gravel. With the gravel, I've already lifted up a ton of it. So we'll just lay the cable on the ground going all the way back over here. And then this is our entry point. We'll make a hole in this and then we'll uh, seal it after. But this is going pretty much to where my land room is. So I'm going to get the tripod set up and then the cable start to run. Okay, now we have enough cable to go back to the back corner. We're gonna end up burying this in the gravel. Okay, so we got our cable run all the way to the back. You could see the big coil right there. There's probably way too much slack. Now we need to mount the utility box somewhere along here. The utility box comes with this mount. So we're gonna mount this onto the fence first, probably in between the boards, um, somewhere a little up high and our camera's gonna go up there. So let's get it mounted. All right, we have the utility box mounted. We need to bring the cable up 
and then into it and then screw through the top of this wood piece and put our camera on. Okay, we got the cable into the utility box and this is our direct burial cable. You probably won't be able to see this that much, but I'm gonna start terminating this. So I'm just gonna grab my cable shears and then I'm gonna strip it. And on the inside, you could see that there's all this grease between each pair and that's to protect the cable. So we gotta wipe that off. So I just have a piece of paper towel and I'm wiping it off. And we have a pull string right here that we're gonna wanna cut off. Now, before we terminate, we wanna put on our cable boot. And now we're gonna start terminating the ends. Hopefully you can hear me. You may not be able to see the colors right, um, but here I terminated in T568A. You may do it in T568B. So the first color we're gonna use is our white green and then solid green. And we wanna make these as straight as possible. They still have some grease on it, so I'm gonna just wipe it off with my uh, paper towel. Next color will be white orange. And then we'll have our solid blue and then our white blue, our solid orange, our white brown, and then our solid brown. And once they're as straight as possible, we'll cut them, grab our RJ45 end and put it on. Then we'll grab our boot, slide it up, and then crimp. All right, so we have our cable terminated right here, which is gonna be our uplink for our USW flex, which I have in my hand, and we need to place that into the flex utility box. All you need to do is put it in and then press down. And now the switch is in. Um, I'm gonna leave a bit of slack on this cable just in case we need to move it. And then we'll plug this into port one, which is the PoE port. Okay, so we got all our cables terminated. The switch is inside. It decided not to put the surface coil in there because it was making it a little tight on the end. So we just put it down there. I'm not too sure how well you could see that. I drilled a hole up top for the camera and terminated the end there. So now we have to put the camera mount on and put the camera on. Okay, the first step to put the mount on, we have our back mount and we need to just put the cable through this and then screw it to the fence. And then we have this grommet that comes with every camera and you wanna make sure that you put this on so it's weatherproof. So we just need to push the cable through the grommet. Now with the grommet on, we just need to mount this piece, which we just screw on. Okay, now we're at the last step. We have to put the camera on. There's this little cover over the ethernet jack that you need to rip off. And now it exposes the ethernet. So we're gonna go ahead and screw this on to the mount. And that's it. Now we have our camera installed. We need to run the other cable into the LAN room, get it terminated, and then power this up, and then get the switch and the camera adopted into our controller. All right, so I ran the cable into the house, and you can see the black cable right there, and they're just going through the floor joists all the way back and then down and then into the LAN room. So now we need to get the cable terminated, and first I'm going to strip the sheathing off this and then get all of the gel off of the cable. And there you could see the gel a little bit more. And so let's wipe that off. On this end, we're gonna use a keystone jack, which is by Vertical Cable. We're gonna to wanna to terminate it in the same cable standard, which is T568A, which I did on the other side. Now all our pairs are in the keystone jack. I have a vertical cable eye punch tool. I'll put this link in the description below. All we do is insert the keystone jack into the eye punch tool and then crimp down. And now our termination is completed. All right, and we put that cable on port 21. So I'm gonna put a patch cable into it. And these are slim cat 6A patch cables. And I'll just patch it into port 24 on my enterprise switch. And this should come up. And we could see a white status light, and this is on the Enterprise switch. Now let's go upstairs and get the devices adopted. All right, now we're on my unified Dream Machine controller, and we could see that we have the USW Flex pending adoption. I'll go ahead and click on it, and then we'll press Adopt. This is going to require an update as well. Now the Flex is adopted into our controller. We need to upgrade it, so I'll press Upgrade. 
and then it's going to go from 4.0.66 to 5.64.8 and we'll press confirm. Now the flex switch is done updating. I'm going to click on the switch and give it a new name. We'll go to config and I'll call this backyard switch and then press save. We could see on port 5 that we're getting power over ethernet indicated by that lightning bolt and it's set to the all profile. We need to put this in my camera VLAN so I'll click on port 5 and then we'll click the edit pencil. Here we'll switch the switch port profile to be on my Mac Telecom camera and then press apply. I'll power cycle the port just to make sure that the camera gets an IP out of my Mac Telecom camera and then we'll press confirm. Now we can see that the port 5 is up and active. Let's go over to my NVR. We can see in the top right corner that we are ready to add the UVC G4 bullet. We'll press add and I'm going to call this backyard camera. And then we'll press add device. The camera is added into the controller, but you can see if we go over connection that it's updating. This will take a minute and then we'll take a look at the camera. The camera is now done updating and we can see that it's at ethernet of one gigabit per second. So let's click on the camera. And here's the view we're getting right now. I'm gonna switch the angle up a little bit after this video, but I'm pretty happy. We can see pretty well my whole backyard. The one thing I still need to add to the ends of the cable is those ethernet surge protectors. These are very important. If it gets hit by lightning, we don't want it to blow all of our other equipment. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.